Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. It's never too early to write a letter to Santa. This child wrote his letter, addressed it to Santa, and is placing it in his mailbox. If you want to make the mailbox, I've included a link to my video in the description box below. If you want to make the little child, stay tuned. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. Okay, let's get right to it. We are going to start with the shoes. So, I'm going to take two styrofoam balls. These are one and a half inch styrofoam balls. And I am going to cut one third off of the bottom. So, about right there, I am going to take my styrofoam cutter and just cut one third off the bottom of both. So I want to make sure that I'm in the same, that it's the same. So about right there. Okay, and I'm going to do that for the other. Okay. And now I am going to cut a little bit off the side because I want it to lay flat against each other. So I'm going to take a little bit off the side. Okay. Okay, now we're going to glue these two pieces together. So, taking a little hot glue, and we just want to glue these two pieces together. Okay, so that's one shoe. And that's the other shoe. Okay, we could throw these pieces out. Okay, now we are going to stretch out our felt. Now I am going to make red shoes, so I'm using red felt. And we're going to just put it right over the styrofoam. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the edge here. And I'm going to put the styrofoam, put the uh, felt on the styrofoam.
Okay, now we're going to make the bottom of the shoe. So I'm going to put glue around the edge of the bottom of the shoe. And we're just going to put it right on the felt. Okay, and then taking my scissors, I'm just going to cut around. Okay, now I am using skewers as my legs, so we are ready to put those in. So I'm going to take a little center punch and I am going to punch where I want the dowels to go. So it's going to be right there. Okay, and then I need my little scissors to make that hole. Okay, I'm going to put a little glue in there. And put the dowels in, or the skewers, I'm sorry. Okay, now, I always like to add a little weight to the bottom of my shoes so that the doll stands up and doesn't get knocked over. So I am going to put these little nuts at the base of that shoe. So I'm just going to glue that on there like that. Then glue another one on. And that acts as a nice weighted base. Okay. Okay, now I have this Christmas straw that I'm going to use as the uh, pantyhose or the socks. So now I'm going to cut my skewers. Um, I think I want to cut them in half. So um, I think I'm going to cut them right about there. I'm cutting them with my miter shears. And then I am going to cut the straw in half. So this is a seven and three quarter inch straw. So I am going to cut it at three and three quarters. Okay, and that's going to go on the skewers, like so. Now I'm going to cut a piece of yarn. Now I am using this big twist ribbon yarn because this is going to act as the sock. Now as you can see, the yarn, there's an opening in the yarn so um, I don't want to stretch it out too much, but 
um, I'm going to use that as the sock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end and fold it in and then I'm going to cut a little bit of it. Okay, so I'm going to fold in both ends and that's going to be the little sock. So we're going to put that right over. It's going to be little slouchy socks. So again, I'm going to fold the ends. And I want them to be the same size, so I've got to make sure of that. See, this one's a little bit too stretched out, so I'm going to take another piece. And that's going to go over. Okay, and that's our slouchy sock. Then I'm just going to glue that down so that it stays. I ended up putting a little rickrack around the sole of the shoe because I didn't like how it came out. It was too wrinkled. <clears throat> and instead of pulling it all apart again, I just am camouflaging it with the rickrack. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put the pants on. So let's put that aside. Now, here's the pattern for the pants. You will find the pattern for um, the pants, the mittens, the head, and the envelope that we're going to make. You're going to find them all in the description below. There's a link to all the patterns. So these are the pants, and I had already cut them out in yellow felt. I cut them out, I sewed all around, left the top open and obviously the legs open and now we're going to put that onto the skewers we want to do that first because then we're going to put the body on so let's put that over get that in there okay and then we're going to put the body on and then we're going to be able to pull up the legs so this is the body. It's a seven inch cone. Now I'm going to cut a little bit off the top of the cone because I want the head to rest flat on the cone. So we're going to cut a little bit off the top of the cone. About right there. Okay, now we're going to make two indentations on, uh, on the bottom of the cone to put the skewers through. So there is a line, there's a line there, so I know where my middle is. So that's where the skewers are going to be placed. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. And we're going to stick the legs. into those holes.
Okay, and then we're going to pull the pants up. Okay, and now I'm going to just glue the pants to the body. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now for the sweater. We're gonna put the sweater on. This sweater I bought, um, this is really a, um, a, an ornament that I got at Joann's last year. Um, I thought well, this was so cute, but anyway, that's what this is. Um, I'm sorry, I did not get it at Joann's. I got it um, on Amazon last year. It's really an ornament. So um, I took the part out that, that hangs on the tree and I'm going to use this as the sweater. So first I want to put wire in the arms because I want the arms to be flexible. So I'm going to cut a piece of wire and I'm going to glue it into Okay, then I went ahead and I made my mittens. So this is the pattern for the mittens, cut out four, and I am using red felt for the mittens, and I already uh, sewed them and stuffed, stuffed them. So I am going to put the mittens on. And we're just going to glue them into the sleeve. Okay, the head, I cut out a circle of lycra fabric. I always use lycra because it stretches. Here is the pattern for the head. You're gonna cut one in lycra. And now we are just going to sew around the outer edge. Make a stitch around the outer edge. Okay, and now I am going to use this um, beaded head pin as the nose. So I'm going to put it right in the center of the styrofoam and I am going to cover it with the lycra. Now I am going to use two toothpicks to secure the head onto the body. So 
First, I am going to create the neck, which I am going to twirl this uh, piece of felt around the two toothpicks. So I'm going to just put a little glue on there and we're going to secure the felt to the toothpicks. Okay, now making sure that the seam is in the back of the head, the back of the body. We're just going to put that right in the center there. So I'm gonna put a little glue and we are gonna glue that right onto the styrofoam cone. And then we are gonna put this guy right on top of there. And I want to make sure the head is in the center. So I want the head to be right there. So I'm going to make a little hole with the center punch, shoot some glue in there, and put it right over the toothpicks and press down. Now for the hat, I am using this piece of um, sweatshirt material. This is actually from my sweatshirt. Um, it is the collar that I cut. I sized it to the size that I wanted on the doll's head. And then I cut and I sewed it just like that. And we are going to leave this side open for now. So I am just gonna put this on the head. Like that. Okay, so we're just gonna glue that on. Okay, now taking the top of the hat, I'm going to get a needle and thread in the same color. So I'm using red and we are going to make a stitch all the way up the top. So we're gonna pull it close and it's gonna look like that. Okay, so let's do that. So. I'm going to to go in from the I'm sorry, go in from here to the center. Okay. And then we're just going to run a stitch and go
Okay, then I have these pom-poms that I bought at Joann's last year. And I am just going to break them off. And I'm going to use these as the pom-poms on the hat. So I Okay, for her face, I am using Micron. And this is just, um, this is called accent liner. It's just uh, really white acrylic paint is all it is. So um, that's what you could use, white acrylic paint. You don't have to use accent liner. Okay, now I think we'll make him a little scarf. It's a him or her. I'm not really sure what it is. It could be him or her because we don't have any hair. So, um, so I am going to take some yarn and we're going to make a little scarf. This is the template for the envelope. I cut, I cut it out in white felt and I embroidered to Santa on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to now fold it over and glue it. This is going to be my letter to Santa.
Okay, so she'll be holding her letter right there. Let's make eyeglasses. I'm going to take some wire. I'm going to use a wide, thick dowel. And we're just going to make some eyeglasses for her. Okay, and now I am going to add some snow to her shoes. I'm going to use this uh, flocking powder. Now this isn't really what it's used for, but um, I want it to be like a snowy um, texture like that. So I am just going to put some flocking powder on the top of her shoes. Make sure it's nice and smashed in there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!